Coming into the game as a three touchdown underdog to the nation's fourth ranked team, Cedar Hill could have approached this one two different ways. Either wait until Katie threw the first punch and fight back, or come at them swinging right off the bat. The Longhorns chose the latter, and they did so by using social media. Star running back La Clavante Gonzalez tweeted about how Katie had a soft schedule and they would not be ready for Cedar Hill. During warm-ups, the Longhorns tried to intimidate the Tigers by staring them down and talking trash. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Y'all want that ring? You want to come to us? It was a method the Katie fans thought would backfire. I seen those guys, our guys warming up the whole time. They weren't even worried about their warm-ups. They were busy running their mouths. Um, we don't talk too much. We just go out there and put it to action. Katie came into the game 15-0 and having dominated every opponent that stood in their way. They are led by defensive lineman Matt Diamond, who is headed to Oklahoma, and powerful running back Adam Taylor, who is on his way to Nebraska. With one last time to talk to his team before kickoff, Joey McGuire expressed his belief in the Longhorns with a heartfelt pregame speech. They're a great football team, but the difference between us and them is we are a great family, and family will do anything, anything for each other. Handle the highs and lows. This game's going to be up and down. Handle the highs and lows, and we'll come out, and we'll be the state champions. We'll do something that they said they can't be done. Four team loss can't be the state champion. Crap! That's full crap! Ain't been what we've been through. We can do it, I believe it. And so the Longhorns heading out into the sea of red with confidence they would need to attempt to knock down Goliath. First quarter, dominated by missed opportunities for both teams. First, Kylie Huddleston, who was playing with a broken bone in his leg, overthrew a wide open Logan Ott in the end zone. That was followed by a botched field goal attempt where kicker Manny Mendoza gets hit in the face with the snap. The Tigers got no points. When Cedar Hill got the ball, quarterback Damian Hobbs took to the ground. This 21-yard run by the Arkansas State commit got the Longhorns to the Katy 10-yard line and a chance to score an early touchdown. A sure-handed receiver, Quincy Adeboyjo, dropped what would be a touchdown, and the Longhorns would have to settle for three points, and they would take a 3-0 lead into the second quarter. McGuire was a risk-taker all game, going for it on three fourth-down situations. But on this occasion, Hobbs is dropped for a six-yard loss on fourth and two deep in Longhorn territory. That would lead to this 17-yard sweep by the big bruising back Taylor, and the Tigers had a 14-3 lead. Now, Cedar Hill fans were fearing the worst, that fear only lasted a couple of minutes when Hobbs dumped this screen off to the speedster Gonzalez, who would go 62 yards to the KD7. All of a sudden, the Longhorns had hope, and then a couple of plays later, great ball here. Hobbs throws one to Brandon Harris, pulls it down in tight coverage. Going into halftime, we had ourselves a game as Katie only led 14 to 10. Only scoring in the third quarter came on a 10-play, 96-yard drive by Katie, which was capped off by another Taylor touchdown. This one from 10 yards out, putting the Tigers up 21 to 10. Then McGuire rolls the dice again, fourth and seven from the 24. Cedar Hill goes for it, and what a great call. Hobbs on the quarterback keeper to his left, and he has nothing but open turf to the end zone. Two-point conversion, no good, but the Longhorns are within a touchdown, 21-16. Next possession. After a long Gonzalez screen, Cedar Hill takes the lead. Hobbs to Harris again, this time from 21 yards out. Longhorns led 24-21, everyone thinking upset. Key play of the game. Katie faced the fourth and one in their own territory, and this time they decide to go for it. The pitch goes to Taylor. He gets the yard they need for the first down, plus much, much more. A 56-yard, game-changing touchdown that put Katie up 28-24 with seven minutes left in the game. Trying to answer back, Hobbs is picked by Quinn Atwood, giving the ball back to the vaunted Tiger offense. Three plays later, there goes that man again. Adam Taylor off to another huge touchdown run. This one 42 yards. He finished the night with 276 yards rushing, five touchdowns, and Cedar Hill's dream of an upset dashed as Katie wins the Class 5A Division II title 35-24. Despite the loss, Coach McGuire could not have been prouder of his bunch. We had a special run. We started out one and three, and I, you know, I don't know many teams that could have done 
what we've done uh, getting to the state championship. So I'm going to tell them how proud I am of them. You know, I, I told them before we started the game, and this is one thing. I love my kids unconditionally, and, and I'm, losing, I'm losing a lot of them tonight. And uh, I'm going to tell them how much I love them, and I'm going to thank them for uh, putting Cedar Hill back in this game, and, and hopefully y'all going to see us a lot more.